given chances for him. Uh, tonight we're out here finishing up the nightly chores. Uh, hot chocolate's on the stand now. We just had the one side to finish milking. Um, as you can tell, they're in the background. Uh, for those of you that have watched our videos, you'll notice that the milking stand has been moved and we got round bills in the barn today. So um, that's what I spent my morning doing was uh, making trips, getting round bales. So um, it was nice and warm out today. So I think it was the actual temperature was in the low to mid nineties and then the humidity was high. So and it's supposed to be that way for the next like seven days. It's supposed to be above 90, I think midweek it's supposed to have a heat index over 100 again so uh, gonna be some fun times so hope everybody's staying safe stays cool staying healthy so that way we can it's t that time of year to start prepping for that cool weather to come in and the uh, grass to stop growing and Hopefully it actually gets cold enough this year um, that the ground stays solid instead of being like a big old muddy mess like it was last couple of years. Uh, we're due around here for good snow. We got a couple last year, but not anything that lasted. So, but uh, we ended up bringing home total of nine round bills so I've got one that's actually outside in the bell feeder because our pasture is it's still green but it's the quality isn't quite there so just to give them something that I know for a fact they can eat um, it's out there so and those are just grass round bills so the one that's out there right now was a first cutting and then uh, Two of these are as well, and then the other six are was actually just bailed yesterday. So, but we will get them eating what they need to eat. That way, they can keep their body condition up and uh, make sure because we have some that'll calf in the fall. So. Want to make sure we don't interrupt any of that progress. So. And then here recently, we have been uh, had a few people contact us interested in purchasing some of our cattle. So we'll see where that ends up. Uh, basically, if we sell off the bull and some of the cow calves then we'll end up replacing them uh, if we sell off steers we'll just let that replace itself so okay i was done with the milking we just got a taylor can you spray her please okay let's go ahead and you can head to the house with that so we can get it chill everything kind of got moved leave her clamped in for a minute and she'll still eat if you unclamp her head she takes off right away so daddy yeah uh no that was that skid was that way i just noticed it was lower than over there yeah no it's just that was one of the um first cutting so it's kind of got a flat bottom on it from where it's been sitting already i think she's done ready to go back to her stall too much noise yep i'm just go ahead and take it i'll help you with her grabber feed come on sis hold on all right i'm gonna pause you so i can use both hands to get the door open there's the boys there and they're eating and they've knocked their little playset over again. They kind of just 
push it around all over the stall. Kind of gives them something to do. Oh, you forgot to get the eggs. I think mom. I know she got them this morning. Because we had eight duck eggs this morning, so. Chicken egg uh, production is coming back up again since we uh, reduced the amount of roosters the other day. And the ducks are laying better too because we actually we ended up uh, getting rid of 11 of the roosters that we had hatched out and then uh, a total of three of the drakes. few of them sitting up there. Yeah, right up there. Let's go outside and we'll take a look at the pigs. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little bit of chasing going on there. Everybody seems to be a little bit happier and getting along a little better since we uh, got rid of some of those roosters. So, And then we're still... There's Gals over there eating on the round bill feeder. And there's our two rogue yeah. chicks. Those are the two that, uh, the last two that Katie hatched out. And they got used to sneaking out of this pen when they were smaller. Now they still do it, but they don't really want to go back in at night time like they used to and they're quick and hard to catch now so they're kind of on their own so. but hope everybody enjoys the videos don't forget to like subscribe share on social media with all your family and friends and we'll see you guys on the next one